Ladies, gentlemen, all points in between and beyond, this is Tommy Gunn's Pop Shop. Today we will be discussing how to drink beer. Using, of course, our five senses, sight, smell, touch, intuition, and good listening skills. The first thing you do with beer is you see it. For example, this beer, I would say, is orange with bubbles and some foam on top of it. What does the beer see when it's poured is an, is an important aspect. Well, you can't really see much of this beer because it's incredibly dark. In fact, when the glass is full, the only determination you can really make is that it is, in fact, glass. If you look at the foam on top of it, oftentimes you can even see patterns, like as if you're watching clouds going by. Every beer has a different smell. You can sense notes of deliciousness from all the different colors of the aroma rainbow. This beer smells good. It smells like bubblegum, breakfast, and birthdays. What you determine by touching the beer is, is a, it's a lot of different things. Uh, for example, one thing that you can determine by touching the beer is the temperature. For example, this beer is cold. An underrated facet of how to drink a beer is listening to what the beer has to tell you. This beer sounds a bit like a campfire late at night. Ah, it's after midnight and the embers are just, just burning down. Tasting a beer can oftentimes determine what exactly the beer is. In this case, this beer is an India Pale Ale, and I came to that conclusion by tasting it and looking directly at the label. I recently received a response from someone who saw my video on how to approach a pilsner with the right attitude, and they wanted to know, do the same rules of how to drink a beer apply to wine? Don't be ridiculous. Thanks for watching, folks. And for those of you that have access to your own taste buds, I hope that on your next outing, you get to enjoy, thoroughly, a delicious glass of beer.